Bible Speaks. To my right is my reader, Brother Daniel, also of the Israel of God. And today, sisters and brothers, the title of the lesson is The Day of the Lord. Again, The Day of the Lord, which represents a time period when God himself, even Jesus, began to intervene in the affairs of man. It is also a time period where sinners are destroyed and the righteous are delivered. And sisters and brothers, if you have been reading your Bible and the day of the Lord sneaks upon you and you have no knowledge of it, you are going to be in big trouble. If a thousand years in the eyes of God is one day and one day is a thousand years, that means that the day of the Lord is a thousand year period or none other than what we call the millennium period. Now, without further ado, we're going to get we're going to start this in Isaiah, the 13th chapter. Isaiah, the 13th chapter, people like to say, well, we New Testament Christians or we are Old Testament scholars. You have to be a complete Bible reader to the law and the testimony. Do not bring me half a book. I need the whole book because salvation is in both books. Isaiah 13 and begin reading at verse six, my brother. Go ahead. How ye for the day of the Lord is at hand. Yes. It shall come as a destruction from the Almighty. Yes. Therefore shall all hands be faint. Yes. And every man's heart shall melt. Now the day of the Lord is going to be so powerful and so eventful that the book said that men are going to have heart attacks. That's when men's hearts going to melt. Go ahead, brother. And they shall be afraid. Uh-huh. Pangs and sorrow shall take hold of them. Yes. They shall be in pain as a woman that travaileth. Yes. They shall be amazed one at another. Uh-huh. Their faces shall be as flame. Go ahead. Behold, the day of the Lord cometh. Yes. Cruel, both with wrath and fierce anger. Uh-huh. To lay the land desolate. Yes. And he shall destroy the sinners thereof out of So him. not only will the Lord come and he going to bring destruction, he going to bring destruction upon the land. So, because this is the day of the Lord or the wrath of God upon man. Continue, brother. For the stars of heaven and the constellations thereof shall not give their light. The stars ain't going to shine. Go ahead. The sun shall be darkened and it's going forth. The, the sun going to be darkened. Go ahead. So, don't bring to me about the, the blood moons. The only blood moon I'm concerned about is that one when the Lord turns the moon dark. Anything else is irrelevant. Continue. And the moon shall not cause her light to uh -huh. shine. Go ahead. And I will punish the world for their evil. Oh, uh, Brother Julius, what do you mean God go punish the world? God is love. Read it again. And I will punish the world for their evil. Uh huh. And the wicked for their iniquity. Yes. And I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease. Ain't going to be no more arrogancy. All them jokes about Jesus Christ, they're going to cease and desist. Go ahead, bro. And will lay low the haughtiness of the terrible. All the proud of your hardness, all your proudness, all your boasting against God and mocking God will come to an end, sisters and brothers. It's all that simple. Let's go to Isaiah, the second chapter. Back up to Isaiah, the second chapter. Sisters and brothers, the day of the Lord is so profound that this can't be but a one-time event. It can't be but a one-time event. That's if you are reading your Bible, and you're going to find out that if you're looking for that rapture, not going to happen. Not biblical. Isaiah chapter 2, begin. we're going to read one verse, verse 12. Go ahead. For the day of the Lord of hosts shall be upon everyone that is proud and lofty, uh -huh. and upon everyone that is lifted up. And everyone that is lifted up, go ahead. And he shall be brought low. Now, if you read Proverbs, the Lord said there are six things that the Lord hates. Number one is pride. All that pride, all that boasting will cease upon the day of the Lord, sisters and brothers. He is not playing, no more joking. He going to be killing, and he gonna, it's going to be a righteous kill. So, sisters and brothers, I got to tell you, if the Lord kill you, you deserve to die. It's all that simple. Let's go to Matthew, the 24th chapter, and let's put Jesus on the witness stand, and let's see what our creator and maker 
had written. God is not like man. He don't play. He don't joke around. Everything he do serves a purpose, including this day of the Lord. People come and they say, well, I love the Lord. Will you? Do you? Time going to tell everything. Matthew 24, begin reading that verse 1. We're going to do some reading here. Go ahead, my brother. And Jesus went out and departed from the temple. Uh Uh-huh. And his disciples came to him for to show him the buildings of the temple. Yes. And Jesus said unto them, Uh huh. See ye not all these things? Yes. Verily I say unto you, there shall not be left one here, one stone upon another. Uh huh. That shall not be thrown down. Now you could go into history and find out when that happened. That happened in 70 AD when the Lord allowed the Romans to come to Jerusalem and burn Jerusalem down and threw down every stone. There was no stone left upon another, like the scripture says. Go ahead, bro. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, Uh saying, Tell us when shall these things be, Uh and what shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world? Now pay attention to who Jesus is talking to. He is talking to his disciples. He said, Tell us, not the world, tell us when shall these things be, and... What shall be the sign of your coming? The day of the Lord is a sign, but there's prophecies that have to be fulfilled that lead up to those signs. Go ahead, brother. And Jesus answered and said unto them, Uh Take heed that no man deceive you. Now, that is one of the most fulfilled scriptures in the the Bible. Take heed that no man deceive you. So now, where is a man going to deceive you at? Is it going to be the pimp on the corner or the prostitute on the corner or the drug dealer? No, it's going to be right here where I'm standing, behind the pulpit. That is where the deception, and if God said it, and and these deceivers are here, where are they? And he told you, show us what shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world. Now, through this lesson, you show me where there is a rapture. Go ahead, brother, verse 5. For many shall come in my name, Uh saying, I am Christ. For many shall come in my name, and they're going to tell you, you go to church every Sunday or wherever your place of worship, if you are a uh, Christian. But then there are such things as counterfeit Christians. If you are the Christ, the greatest name given unto heaven whereby men might be saved is none other than the name of Jesus. But the flip side of that is the greatest name whereby men might be deceived is the name of Jesus. That, That was verse five, brother. Uh, I got one line left. Finish that. Go ahead. And shall deceive many. And shall deceive many. Is it possible that pastor, bishop, apostle, prophet could deceive you? We just read it. Skip all the way down to verse 7 and continue, brother. Go ahead. For nation shall rise against nation. Yes. And kingdom against kingdom. Yes, but that's we call that war and we call that world war. Go ahead. And there shall be famines and pestilences, uh-huh. earthquakes and divers places. Yes. And all these are the beginning of sorrow. Yes. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you. Yes. And ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. Oh, you mean that if you're going to serve the true living God, you have to do some suffering? Mm-hmm. Even you may be killed. We read it. This is Jesus telling us. Go ahead, bro. 10. Yes. And then shall many be offended. Yes. And shall betray one another. Yes. And shall hate one another. So now we're going to find out if you are really a Christian. If you are really a follower of Christ or will you cave in to pressure. Be it political or be it physical. We're going to find out where your faith really stands. God going to see it. Sisters and brother, continue. And many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive Why many. Why do we keep reading about these false prophets? How come you're not learning about false prophets in your church? You just can't take some of the book. You got to take all of it. Go ahead, bro. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. Now you understand why there's no love in the world. Why people are raping. Why people are killing. Why people are stealing. Why people are committing adulteries. Because there is no knowledge of God in the world. And the love of many have waxed cold. So nobody cares. Nobody cares about nobody. All you got to do is just believe on Christ. But Jesus said, if you love me, keep my commandments. And he also said, don't be just hearers of the word, but doers. Who are you willing to help in the name of Jesus? Go ahead, bro. 13. But he that shall endure unto the end, the Uh same shall be saved. So I can't read that again. But he that but he that shall endure until the end, yes, the same shall be saved. So that means that I can't put no date on when I got saved. I can't sit back and say, "Well, nineteen eighty nine, I got saved," or "Night two thousand fifteen, I got saved." 
Did your end come yet? Has the end, meaning the Lord's return, is it here yet? Then how could you say that you are saved? Why don't you go and read what Paul said? Paul said, what would it profit me if I teach others and I fall back into my old ways and I be a castaway? So much for once saved, always saved. Continue, brother. What verse? 14. Read it. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world uh -huh. for a witness unto all nations. Uh -huh. And then shall the end come. So now the gospel of the kingdom is being preached as a witness. But it could also be to your destruction if you don't walk in it. Then shall the end come. What gospel? All of the Lord's return is entailed in the gospel, sisters and brothers. The good news or the return of the setting of the government of God upon this earth. And he's going to do it. You know why? Because God cannot lie. Verse 15, read it. When ye therefore shall see the abomination of desolation. Yes. Spoken of by Daniel the prophet. Yes. Stand in the holy place. Whoso readeth, let him understand. So that means that I can't be just a New Testament Christian. I got to go back and read the Old Testament. So now I got to go back to the book of Daniel like the Lord is instructing me and find out about who this abomination of desolation is, which is none other than a, a false prophet of a huge religious organization setting a temple that's going to be built in Jerusalem. But I want you to read it on your own. Read that on your own. Did we finish that, bro? Yes, we did. Go to 21. Skip down to 21 and continue. For there shall be great tribulation. Yes. Such as was not since the beginning of the world uh -huh. to this time. No, nor ever shall be. Well, Brother Daniel, how could it be great tribulation? How could, if you're going to be raptured and the Lord said you got to go through great tribulation, that means it ain't going to be raptured. Mm -hmm. But the Lord do tell you in Psalm 91, he that standeth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide upon the shadow of the Almighty. But that's a geographical and physical location on this earth, not up in heaven. Come on, bro. Where we at? 22. Read it. And except those days shall be short, uh -huh. there shall be no flesh saved. Yes. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. Now, for except those days, what days? The great tribulation period. And what's going to shorten them? The day of the Lord or the return of the Lord back to this earth. Because if he don't, man will kill himself and everything that lives on the planet. Because we have the weaponry to do so. Skip down to verse 24 and read it. For there shall arise false Christ. Then false Christ again, go ahead. And false prophets. Yes. And shall show great signs and wonders. Yes. And so much that if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. See, Satan the devil is going to empower these false preachers, these false prophets, and give them power, especially this man of sin. He's going to be operating out of the strength of Satan the devil. The devil can do miracles too. Of course, they end up in a, they are a lie, but yet he's given all the power to do that. He's given the power to do that. Verse 27, Dan, go ahead. For as the lightning cometh out of the east. Now, this is how the Lord is going to come back. Ain't going to be no quiet coming. He's not going to steal no people off the earth. As the lightning shine from the east, he giving you something that you can see and relate to. Go ahead, Dan. And shineth even unto the west. Yes. So shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Wow. Skip down to verse 29 and go ahead. Immediately after the tribulation of those days. Immediately after the tribulation. Not after no seven year rapture. No such thing. Go ahead. Shall the sun be darkened. Yes. And the moon shall not give her light. Yes. And the stars shall fall from heaven. Sound like something we read in Daniel. Go ahead. In Isaiah. Go ahead. And the powers of the heaven shall be shaken. And the powers of the heaven. That means it's going to be a great noise. Ain't going to be no quiet coming. Let's move on. Let's go to verse Luke. Let's go to Luke the 21st chapter. Luke chapter 21. Sisters and brothers, read the book and pray for wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. We here at the Israel of God, we are called the Israel of God Bible study class. We read the Bible and we pray for understanding and we read until we understand what the Lord wants us to know out of his book. Not out of what we feel or how we believe, but that which is written. Go ahead, Dan. Start reading that verse 25. Luke 21 Verses 25 and 26. Read it, my brother. And there shall be signs in the sun. Yes. And in the moon. Yes. And in the stars. Yes. And upon the earth distress of nations. Yes. With perplexity. Yes. And seeing the waves roaring. Men's hearts failing them for fear. Didn't we read that in Isaiah the 13th chapter? Sisters and brothers, we read the same thing in Matthew the 24th chapter. So now we read it out of the third witness, Luke. The book says, out of the mouth of two or more witnesses in fact established. This is from the Almighty. It is too perfect for some people or some wise men to sit up in some corner and come up with. It's too perfect. And it's going to happen. 
It's going to happen. What verse was that? I'm going to do 26. Read verse 26. Go ahead. Men's hearts fail in them for fear. Yes. And for looking after those things which are coming on the earth. Yes. For the powers of the heaven shall be shaken. Yes, sir. And then shall they see the son of man coming in a cloud. Oh, we read. Didn't we just read that in Matthew, the 24th chapter? The Lord is going to come, sisters and brothers. And I got to tell you, he is going to kill everything that is against them. Did we finish that, Dan? With power and great glory. With power and great glory. That is when you're going to get your reward if you are righteous and if you are wicked. Let's go to Daniel chapter 12. Daniel the 12th chapter. I love this book, sisters and brothers. I love this book because it tells me about the past, present, and future all pre-told. So there is no excuse for us not to have knowledge. We got internet, we got social media, we got all kinds of informational tools out here. Why don't you do something real wise? Read and study and save yourself. Save yourself. Daniel 12. And let's look at what happens on the, what's another big event that's going to happen on the day of the Lord. Verse 12. Uh, I'm sorry, 12 and 1. Go ahead. And at that time shall Michael stand up the great prince, which standeth for the children of thy people. Yes. And there shall be a time of trouble. Yes. Such as never was since there was a nation, even to that same time. And this time of trouble is none other than the great tribulation period. A one-time worldwide event. The return of the Lord. Go ahead. And at that time, thy people shall be delivered. Yes. Everyone that shall be found written in the book. You see, that's why it said the righteous shall be delivered. But woe unto the wicked. Go ahead, Dan. And many of them that sleep in the dust no, of the No, no, you earth. read that wrong. And many of them that are up in heaven. No. And many of them that are, have been raptured. No. Read it again. And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake. Why the dust of the earth? Because he told you in Genesis, the third chapter, for dust you are, and unto dust, dust shall dust thou return. 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 Because you didn't come from heaven. You came from the dust. When you die, you, you expired. The, the Lord takes back that breath that he put in you in the beginning. And you go back to the dust. All of you. There is nothing walking around, sisters and brothers. I don't go to the cemetery and talk to my dead one, loved ones. Because the Bible said the dead knows nothing. But if you read the book, you will understand that. Come on, Dan. Some to everlasting life. Some to everlasting life. And some to shame. Yes. And everlasting contempt. Go ahead. And they that be wise shall shine as the brightness of the firmament. Oh, so when the Lord come back, he going to give you a glorified body that's going to shine just like he do. Remember, Jesus was taken to, the, to Peter, James, and John to the Mount of Transfiguration and was transformed before them. And he shined. And the book said, when we see him, we shall be like him. That means that we are going to shine. Come on, Dan. And they that turn many to righteousness yes. as the stars forever and ever. Yes, sir. But thou, old Daniel. Yes. Shut up the words yes. and seal the book. Even to the time of the end. Yes. Many shall run to and fro. Yes. And knowledge shall be increased. Wait, now we in the end time now. People is going to and fro. People is flying back for all kinds of transportation going to and fro. And knowledge has been increased. Technology. Also knowledge on how to do wickedness. Shall be increased. We are there. Now skip down to verse 7. Go ahead, Dan. And I heard the man clothed in linen. Yes. Which was upon the waters of the river. Yes. When he held up his right hand and his left hand unto heaven. And swear by him that liveth forever. Yes. That it should be a time. One year. Go ahead. It should be for a time. That's two more half. years and a half a year, which is six months. Go ahead. And when he shall have accomplished to scatter the power of the holy people, uh -huh. all these things shall be finished. Who is this guy that's going to uh, scatter the power of the holy people? The abomination that make it desolation. When he get that temple, that third temple that's going to be built, and this false prophet going to sit up there. And he, when that happens, that will be the beginning of the great tribulation period. What verse was that? That was the end of seven. Read it. Continue. And I heard, but I understood not. Yes. Then said I. Yes. Oh, my Lord, what shall be the end of these things? And look what he told Daniel. Go ahead. And he said, go thy way, Daniel. Uh-huh. For the words are closed up in the seal till the time of the end. Yes. Many shall be purified and made white and tried. Yes. But the wicked shall do wickedly. Uh-huh. And none of the wicked shall understand. Wow. But the wise shall understand. And we at the Israel of God, we profess ourselves to be wise because we... Deal with the knowledge of the true living God, which he gave you this book so you, you can save your own life, mm -hmm. even your eternal life. Let's move on to 1 Thessalonians, the fifth chapter, Dan. 
First Thessalonians. Sisters and brothers, all this good stuff in the Bible in the Old and New Testament, and you want to stay up under the New Testament? Nothing against the New Testament, but everything is already written. We're reading about the day of the Lord, something that's yet to happen out of the old book, sisters and brothers. Wow. And pastor not letting you read that. You go to church and you only read two or three scriptures. Shame on you. Let's go. First Thessalonians 5, begin at, at verse 1. Go ahead, brother. But of the times and unseasons. Yes. Brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. Go ahead. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in a night. Oh, you mean Paul understood the day of the Lord? Why? Because he quoted the Old Testament. He read the Old Testament. Go ahead. For when they shall say peace and safety, uh -huh. then sudden destruction cometh upon them. See there, go ahead. As travail upon a woman with child. Go ahead, Dan. And they shall not escape. And they shall not escape. Go ahead. But ye brethren are not in darkness, that the day should overtake you as a thief. Continue. Ye are all the children of light. That's if you have understanding. Go ahead. And the children of the day. Uh-huh. We are not of the night. Uh-huh. Nor of darkness. Go ahead. Therefore let us not sleep as do others. But let us watch and be sober. Watch what? Watch world events. Watch signs of the time. Go ahead. For they that sleep, sleep in the night. Yes. And they that be drunken are drunken in the night. This is to a leading from a physical to a spiritual drunkenness. Go ahead. But let us who are of the day be uh -huh. sober. Yes. Putting on the breastplate of faith and yes. love. Yes. And for an helmet, the hope of salvation. The hope of salvation. You are hoping for salvation. You ain't got a check because the Lord ain't came yet, but you're working on it and you're hoping for it. Go ahead, bro. For God have not appointed us to wrath. What wrath? That is destruction, eternal damnation, or what's called the lake of fire. He didn't create man to be in there. Adam didn't listen to uh, God and he brought death upon us all. The father sent his son Jesus to redeem or recover or salvage us. How did he do that? By dying and raising again. Go ahead, bro. But to obtain salvation by yes. our Lord Jesus Christ. Read, Dan. Who died for us that whether we wake or sleep, yes. we shall live together with them. And he mean that. Whether we are uh, dead or alive, you're going to be resurrected. You can't die and get away from this God. He's going to wake you up, judge you, and give you the reward of what you got coming. That's why you got to strive to be righteous. Jesus told you, keep your garments always white, sisters and brothers. You got to live every day as if it could be your last day, as if God could come back at any day. That is an attitude, and that is what he calls holiness. Do the best you can, sisters and brothers. Jesus told that woman uh, that he called in adultery, go and sin no more. Don't continue in it, lest you be consumed by it. Let's go to 2 Peter, the third chapter, Dan. Second Peter, the third chapter, all this good knowledge about the day of the Lord and you are not being fed. Jesus told Peter, love is thou me. He said, feed my sheep, feed my sheep, feed the congregation. Started giving them lies, myths and things that make them feel good. Run back and forth. You know what makes me feel good? Knowledge, wisdom and understanding. Because I could do all the praise dancing. I could do all the mime and I won't. I can do all the sign and I won't. But unless I understand and get knowledge, that's not, none of that's going to do me any good. Knowledge is the foundation of all things. Mm -hmm. Second Peter 3, begin reading that verse 1, brother. Go ahead. The sec this second epistle, beloved, I now write unto you. Yes. In both which I stir up your pure minds uh -huh. by way of remembrance. Yes. That ye may be mindful of the words which were spoken before the holy prophet. Wow. Go ahead. And of the commandment of us, the apostles of the Lord and Savior. Absolutely. Go ahead, Dan. Knowing this first, that there shall come in the last days scoffers walking after their own lust. Go ahead. And saying, where is the promise of his coming? For since the fathers fell asleep. All things continue as they were from the beginning of the creation. And that is the mindset of man today. They really don't believe in Jesus Christ. They don't really believe that he's coming back. But he told you I'm coming as a thief. And I'm convinced that everything that he got written in his book, he going to do. How do I know? Because he told me he dug me out of the ground and put breath in my nostril and I became a living soul. So let's flip it around. When I die, the breath leaves my body, the body goes back to the ground because God cannot lie, sisters and brothers. Come on, Dan. Five. Yes. For this, they willingly are ignorant. Now, that's called willful ignorance. You don't care to know. All you care about is what pastor says. Well, my pastor, well, my bishop, well, my prophet, why don't you read and prove him? He could be wrong, sisters and brothers. He could be a false prophet. Go ahead, Dan. That by the word of God, the heavens were of old, 
and the earth standing out of the water and in the water. Uh -huh. Whereby the world that then was being overflowed with water perished. Wow. That word, and we know that because we know there was a flood. Skip down to verse 8, Dan, and go ahead. But, beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing. That what, Dan? That one day is with the Lord as a thousand years. Uh-huh. And a thousand years is one day. So the day of the Lord will be a thousand-year period, prophetically, biblically speaking. Mm -hmm. The millennium period, which the day of the Lord begins that, sisters and brothers. That begins that. What verse does that continue? Nine. Yes. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise. No, God is not slack. He's going to do everything. He just worked by time. Read. And some men count slackness. Yes. But this is long suffering to yes. us. Yes. Not willing that any should perish. Because the Lord want to give you a chance to save yourself. He gave you a whole lifetime to get yourself together. But if you were not here, if you were not obey, he'll cut your lifespan down. Go and read how he cut all the great men of the Bibles in Genesis. The fifth chapter. Cut this lifespan down. Go ahead, Dan. Mm. What verse? This is the end of nine. Go ahead. But that all should come to re repentance. See, we don't have enough preaching of repentance in the church today. That's why the church is in a state of disgrace. Go ahead. Ten. Yes. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in Might the night. Might come, Dan. Hmm? Will come. Go ahead. In the which the heavens shall pass away with the great noise. Wow. And the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Wow. The earth also and the works that are... That are there therein shall be burned up. That is the heavens and the earth. All the sun, stars, the moon not going to shine no more. The earth is going to be perplexity on this earth, sisters and brothers. The Lord is going to do this earth. And if you ain't on this side, he going to do you. It's all that simple. Let's move on, Dan. Did we finish that? Yes, Let's go to Joel, the second chapter. Back to the Old Testament. Joel chapter 2. Sisters and brothers, we are trying to scare you straight. So that you can have a respect to this God of Israel. Even Jesus, who we mock and profane his name, his holy name. Go ahead, Dan. Joel 2. Joel 2, read verses 1 and 2 and we'll skip. Go ahead, bro. Blow ye the trumpet in Zion. Yes. And sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Yes, sir. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble. Yes. For the day of the Lord cometh. Yes. For it is nigh at hand. Go ahead. A day of darkness and of gloominess. Yes. A day of clouds and of thick darkness. Uh-huh. As the morning spread upon the mountains, a great people and a strong, there have not been ever the light. Now, this is when the East, the East nations come against the West for what we call World War Three. This is that time period. Skip down to verse 10 and 11 and read them, brother. Go ahead. The earth shall quake before them. The earth shall quake before them because it's going to be that army of 200 million soldiers. That's on the east. So can you imagine what the west we have? Go ahead, Dan. The heavens shall tremble. Yes. The sun and the moon shall be dark. The there it is again, them heavenly signs. Go ahead. And the stars shall withdraw their shine. Yes. And the Lord shall utter his voice before his army. Uh-huh. That's that seventh trumpet sounding, waxing louder and louder, according to Revelation. Go ahead. For his camp is very great. Yes. For he is strong and executed his word. Read, Dan. For the day of the Lord is great and very terrible. Uh-huh. And who can abide? Only it? those who are in the secret place of the Almighty. Mm -hmm. Everybody else, death gonna, and destruction going to come unto him unless the Lord got you protected someplace. You got to understand this, sisters and brothers, all the way down to verse 28, verses 28 through 31. Go ahead, bro. And it shall come to pass afterward yes. that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. Yes. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Yes. Your old men shall dream dreams. Yes. Their young men shall see visions. And Go ahead. I'll and also upon the servants and upon the handmaids in those days will I pour out my spirit. Yes. And I will show wonders in the heavens and in the earth. Yes. Blood and fire and pillars of smoke. Go ahead, Dan. The sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood. Yes. Before the great and terrible day of the Lord comes. You see, this is why we teach the way we do, because the Lord has poured out his spirit upon the Israel of God and all those who are teaching this word in truth and uprightness. So we know these things, we believe these things because the Lord is telling us what's coming. But if you're in a church that is not teaching these things, we welcome you here. Come on here, we'll show you. We're going to teach you, but we ask you to bring your pen, your paper, and your Bible because you will be thoroughly educated. It's all that simple. That was the end of 30, uh, 31? Yes, it was. All this before the, the day of the Lord come. But with, what about David? Did David and them know about this? Let's go to Psalm 50, Dan. And read it. Psalm 50. Psalm chapter 50, uh, the 50th uh, book, 
and read verses 1, and then we're going to skip. The mighty God, even the Lord, has spoken yes. and called the earth from the rising of the sun until the going down thereof. Continue. Out of Zion, the perfection of beauty, uh -huh. God has shined. Yes. Our God shall come and shall keep, not keep silence. A fire shall devour before him, and it shall be very temptuous round about him. It was, when the Lord come, then he tell you the sun going to be dark, the moon shall not shine. It's going to be very tempestuous around him. Continue, Dan. He shall call to the heavens from above uh -huh. and to the earth that he may judge his people. See, that's judgment time, sisters and brothers. Well, the Lord going to pour up his wrath upon the wicked and the evildoers and save the righteous. Continue at verse 5. Gather my saints together unto me. Yes. Those that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. By sacrificing themselves. By dying for my cause, sisters and brothers. Then we read in Daniel that those that sleep in the dust shall arise. All of this is one time event, sisters and brothers. Continue, Dan. 6. And the heaven shall declare his righteousness. Yes. For God is judged himself. So God himself is judged. See, or so be it. Because this is going to happen. Let's move on to 1 Thessalonians, the fourth chapter, what they call the rapture chapter. We're going to read, is it a rapture or is it the second coming of the Lord or the day of the Lord? See, the Lord said, and all your getting sisters and brothers, get you understanding. 1 Thessalonians 4, and we're going to pick this up, Dan, at verse uh, 1 and skip. We're going to pick the reading up. Go ahead. Furthermore, then we beseech you, brethren, yes. and exhort you by the Lord Jesus, that as ye have received of us, how ye ought to walk and to please God. In other words, your, your behavior should be Christian-like and not worldly. Skip down to verse 3 and continue, Dan. For this is the will of God, uh -huh. even your sanctification. Yes. That ye should abstain from fornication. Yes. That every one of you should know how to possess his vessel in sanctification and honor. Christian behavior. Continue, Dan. Not in the lust. Of conspicuous. Uh, con 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 Go ahead. Even as the Gentiles which know not God. See, the Gentiles don't know not God. The Gentiles are the one that's got you going to heaven. They got your mother uh, already in heaven. They got the bad people down in hell. But the Lord said, I come and my reward is with me to give to every man as his work shall be. So now you're going to sit back and say, they up in heaven. You are lying to the people. Go ahead, Dan. That no man go beyond and defraud his brother in any manner. Right. Because that the Lord is the avenger of all such. Yes, he is. we also have forewarned you and testified. Uh-huh. For God have not called us un unto uncleanness. Uh-huh. But unto holiness. Uh-huh. God don't want no man to die or perish forever and feel his wrath. But he done called us to be into eternal life. I came that you might have life and have it more abundantly. How? You can't get no more abundant than the eternal life, sisters and brothers. Continue, Dan. What eight, verse? Eight. Read it. He therefore that despise the despise of not man, uh -huh. but God. Don't get mad at us at the Israel of God. We just serve as a God. We read his word. Get mad at yourself and the one that's teaching you falsely. Skip down to verse 15 and finish it. For this we say unto you. Yes. By the word of the Lord. Yes. That we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. Oh, the people that died are still in the grave, but they can't get their reward, and we can't get ours, because we all get it at the same time, at the appearing of the Lord. Continue, Dan. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout. So the Lord is coming down. So who told you you're going up? Go ahead. With the voice of the archangel. Yes. And with the trump of God. That's that seventh trumpet. Go ahead. And the dead in Christ shall rise first. If they already up in heaven, then what needs to be raised? Hmm. Come on, Dan. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the cloud. Why? Because you done survived the great tribulation period. And now the Lord looking at your righteousness, he going to change your body like he going to change the body of those that come out of the grave. We all get the reward at the same time. Did we finish that, Dan? One sentence. Go ahead. To meet the Lord in the air. To meet the Lord in the air. He's coming from where he is, the heaven, the heaven of heavens, coming through the second heaven and onto the first heaven, which is the earth. Another lesson, another time. But it's all here in the book. And then we on the earth is rising up to meet the Lord. And we are going to come back down to the Mount of Olives with our God. Go ahead, Dan. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. And that is on this earth. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Heaven is straight. Now the earth is the one that the work got to be fixed upon. Let's move on to Jeremiah 25th chapter. Jeremiah 25. I love this book. God is a God of common sense. And he worked by time. His time, not ours. 25 and 4. 
Verses 4 through 8. Go ahead, Dan. And the Lord has sent unto you all his servants and prophets. Yes, we just working in the spirit of the prophets. Go ahead. Rising early and sending them. Yes. For ye have not hearkened nor inclined your ear to hear. You don't want to hear it? That's called willful ignorance. Go ahead. They said, turn ye again, now every one from his evil way. Yes. And from the evil of your doings. Yes. And dwell in the land that the Lord have given unto you and to your fathers forever and ever. Go ahead. And go not after other gods to serve them. Thou shalt have no other god before me. Anything that you love more than God, you make it a god. Continue. And to worship them. Uh Uh-huh. And provoke me not to anger with the work of your hands. Uh Uh-huh. And I will do you no hurt. Because the wages of sin is death. You don't listen to me. I will hurt you. If you continue not to listen to me, I will kill you. This is out of the mouth of God. Finish it, bro. Yet ye have not hearkened unto me, saith uh-huh. the Lord. Yes. That ye might provoke me to anger with uh-huh. the works of your hands to your own hurt. And that is the way you worship, sisters and brothers, in your everyday life. Go ahead. Therefore, thus saith the Lord of hosts, because ye have not heard my words. Because ye have not heard my words. Skip down to verse 15. Go ahead. For thus saith the Lord God of Israel unto me. Uh huh. Take the wine cup of his fury. At my hand. That's the wrath of the Lord. Go ahead. And cause all the nations to whom I send thee to drink it. Go ahead. And they shall drink. Yes. And be moved. Then the book said he going to punish all the world. Go ahead, Dan. And be mad. Yes. Because of the sword that I will send among them. Yes. Then I took the then I then took out of the cup at the Lord's hand. Uh huh. And made all the nations to drink. Yes. Unto whom the Lord has sent me. Go ahead. To with Jerusalem and the cities of Judah. And the kings thereof. Started at Jerusalem. It is going to wake its way all the way down to our day and time. And to all the world. Let's go to verse 27. 27 to 28. Go ahead, Dan. Therefore thou shalt say unto them. Yes. Thus saith the Lord of hosts. Yes. The God of Israel. Drink ye and be drunken. And spew. And throw up. Go ahead. And fall. Yes. And rise no more. Why, Dan? Because of the sword which I will send among you. And that is the sword of the word out of his mouth. Come in destruction. Go ahead. And it shall be if they refuse to take the cup at thine hand to drink. Yes. Then shall thou say unto them, thus saith the Lord of hosts, ye shall certainly drink. And you shall certainly drink. Verse 30. Go ahead. Therefore prophesy thou against them all of these words. Uh Uh-huh. And say unto them. Yes. The Lord shall war from on high. Yes. And utter his voice from his holy habitation. Go ahead. He shall mightily roar upon his habitation. He shall give a shout. And they, th- and they tread the grapes against the inhabitants of the earth. And against the inhabitants of the earth. Go ahead, Dan. A noise shall come even to the ends of the earth. So it ain't going to be no choir coming. Go ahead. For the Lord have a controversy with the nations. Yes. He will plead with all flesh. Yes. He will give them that are wicked to the sword. That's the way the, the Lord, Lord. pleads. The Lord pleads by killing. He ain't sit back and say, please, please listen to me. No, I'm going to kill you with my mouth, with destruction. Go ahead. Thus saith the Lord of hosts. Uh-huh. Behold. Evil shall go forth from nation to nation. Yes. And a great whirlwind shall be raised up from the coast of the earth. Continue. And the slain of the Lord shall be at that day. At that day, what? From one end of the earth, even unto the other end place of the it earth. It says from one end of heaven to the, other, to the other end of the heaven, which is the first heaven, this earth. Go ahead, Dan. They shall not be lamented, neither gather, neither bury. They shall be dung upon the ground. The book called that the burial of an ass. We can show you that more perfectly. That is a shameful burial. Go ahead. That's what he's going to call all them fowls of the earth and come to the great supper of the Lord. Continue, Dan. What verse? 34. Read it. How ye shepherds How ye shepherds. This is to the preachers. Go ahead. And wallow yourselves in the ashes. Yes. Ye principal of the flock. Because you're supposed to be the head of the church. Go ahead. For the days of your slaughter and of your dispersions are accomplished. Uh-huh. And ye shall fall like a pleasant vessel. See, the Lord is not playing. Preachers, teach the book. We're warning you from the Lord. Teach the the book in uprightness because your money going to perish. Nothing wrong with living off the flock if you feeding on the word of God. But if you're doing it for gain, say, and for riches, going to come to nothing. The Lord going to deal with you. You've been warned. Let's move on to Revelation, the first chapter. Revelation 1. And we're going to take verses 7 and 8. Revelation 1, verses 7 and 8. Then we read in the book. We didn't conjure this up. We read in the book. Revelation 1 and verses 7. And let's look when the Lord come. Who going to see him? Go ahead, Dan. Behold, he cometh with clouds. Yes. And every eye shall see him. How many eyes? Every eye. But not at the same time. Why? Because Revelation the 20th chapter, there's a first resurrection. And then after that, there's a, a thousand years later, there is a great white throne judgment, which is called the second resurrection. Pray that you enter to the first resurrection. Go ahead, Dan. 
And they also which pierced him. Yes. And all kindreds of the earth shall well because of him. Even so, amen. All kings of the earth shall well because of Jesus. I thought they're going to be glad to see him. No, they're going to be weeping and mourning because he's going to be done doing so much killing. Go ahead, Dan. Verse 8. I am Alpha and Omega. I'm Alpha and Omega. This is Jesus talking, Dan. Read. The beginning and the end. Yes. Saith the Lord. Yes. Which is and which was and which is to come. Uh huh. The Almighty. The Almighty. I'm the one that you dealt with. I'm the only God that you ever dealt with in this flesh and blood body. And I'm the only one that's going to end this thing. Because my father don't deal with holiness, uh, uh, uncleanness. He made me the CEO of man or the spokesman for him. You better listen to this, Jesus. The book said, kiss the son, lest he get angry. And, he, and you perish when his anger is kindled just a little bit. Have respect for this God of Israel. Matthew, the 25th chapter, Dan. Matthew 25. Matthew 25. Sisters and brothers, all this in the book, and you go to church, and you listen to four verses? <laughs> if you say you called by God, do your job, pastor. Go ahead, Dan. We at Matthew 25 and verse 31. When the Son of Man shall come in his glory, yes. and all the holy angels with him. Oh, so he ain't coming by himself. No. He got all them holy angels coming with him. Go ahead, Dan, read it. Then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory. Yes. And before him shall be gathered all nations. Yes. And he shall separate them one from another. Yes. As a shepherd divides the sheep from the goats. See, that's what the Lord, the Lord is the one. So he, he's the righteous judge. He going to do the separating. Go ahead, Dan. And he shall set the sheep on his right hand. Uh-huh. But the goats on the left. So you better hope that you a sheep. Feed my sheep. Don't be no goat. Go ahead. Then shall the king say unto them on his right hand. Come ye blessed of my father, and inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the oh, world. Oh, that's why we say thy kingdom come. Jesus said, I go to prepare a place for you in my father's house. But you ain't going up there. I'm going to bring it down. Thy kingdom come. Then you're going to be with him where he is upon this earth with the headquarters being Jerusalem. Skip down to verse 41. What about the unrighteous, Dan? Go ahead. Then shall he say also unto them on the left hand. What? Depart from me. Ye cursed into everlasting fire. But Lord, I did this in your name. I did that in your name. We gave out food on Thanksgiving and on Christmas and on New Year. We did all kinds of things in your name. Depart from me. What are you going to say, Dan? Depart from me. You cursed. Into everlasting fire. Yes. Prepare for the devil and his angels. Wow. Wow. 46, Dan. Let's close this out. Go ahead. And these shall go away into everlasting punishment. But the righteous into eternal so life. So just because you call the Lord don't mean that you're serving the true and living God. Why don't you read 2 Corinthians where Paul talked about another Jesus and another gospel and another spirit. Since we got so many spirits walking around. Let's go to 2 uh, Thessalonians, Dan. 2 Thessalonians. 2 Thessalonians 1. 2 Thessalonians 1. All this in the book. And nobody's reading it, sisters and brothers. Nobody's reading it. Everybody wants you to feel good. What makes me feel good is knowledge, understanding, and wisdom. Second Thessalonians, the second chapter, and we're going to begin reading at verse 2. Second Thessalonians, second Thessalonians 1 and 2. Go ahead, Dan. Second Thessalonians 1 and 2. Second Thessalonians, the first chapter. Begin reading at verse 2. Go ahead. Grace unto you in peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh huh. We are bound to... To thank God always for you. Yes. Brethren as it is to me. Because that your faith groweth exceedingly. And the charity of every one of you. All toward each other. Uh -huh. ab abounded. Yes. That's charity. That's love. Go ahead. So that we ourselves glory in you. In the churches of God. Yes. For your patience. And faith in all your persecutions. And tribulations that ye endure. Oh. So if you raptured away. Why is these saints, Paul is talking about these saints at the church at Thessalonica. Why is he talking about them tribulation, going through tribulation? And you're going to serve God and you think you ain't got to go through no trials or tribulations? But you will, you will say that your trial come to make you stronger. For what reason? So that you can stand in the evil day, sisters and brothers. Go ahead, Dan. Five. Yes. Which is a manifest token of the righteous judgment of God. Yes. That ye may be, be that ye may be counted worthy of the kingdom of God, for which ye also suffer. So if you're gonna be a Christian, 
a Bible Christian, you have to do some suffering, sisters and brothers. Come on, Dan. Seeing it as a righteous thing with God to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. So, God, we don't have to get mad about people that's messing with us about our faith. We don't have to get mad about all this wickedness that's being pervaded today out here. God going to deal with them. He made man. He can break man better than anybody. So I don't have to exact vengeance. All I got to do is serve God. He even give me room to get mad. He say, be angry, but sin not. Because you can sin and then get yourself cut off. Let God deal with the unrighteous and the wicked. Come, come on, Dan, finish it. And to you who are troubled, rest with us. Yes, go ahead. When the Lord Jesus shall be revealed from heaven with his mighty angels. Yes. And a flaming fire yes. taking vengeance on them that know not God. When is this happening? On the day of the Lord, the return of the Lord. Go ahead. And that obey not the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Remember, the gospel is given to us as a witness against us, sisters and brothers. But if you walk in it, it will save you. Trust it. This is, this is your God talking. Continue, Dan. Who shall be punished with everlasting destruction from the, one, from the presence of the Lord and from the glory of his power. But you have a religious faith out here that says, oh, God is not going to burn people forever. What do everlasting torment mean? We read the book, sisters and brothers. Read that verse again, Dan. Read it again. Who shall be punished with everlasting destruction. Yes. From the presence of the Lord. Uh -huh. And from the glory of his power. You don't want to walk in, in this book and bust the commandments of God? It's going to be just like Monopoly. That game Monopoly, do not pass go. Do not collect uh, uh, $200. Go to hell. Go directly to hell, which is a state of condition, which is eternal separation from God. One more verse, Dan. Read it. When he shall come to be glorified in the saints. Yes. And to be admired in all them that believe. Yes. Because our testimony among you was believed. Yes. In that day. In that day. That's the day of the Lord. Read, Dan. Wherefore also we pray always for you, uh -huh. that our God would count you worthy of this calling. Yes. And fulfill all the good pleasure of his goodness. Yes. And the work faith with his power. And when he, and this is your reward that he's going to give to the righteous sisters and brothers. God has not appointed us unto wrath, but unto eternal life. I came that you might have life and have it more abundantly. God is the God of the living. He is not the God of the dead. Unless you like dying. Let's move on, Dan. Let's go to. St. John, the 14th chapter. St. John, the 14th chapter. This is why we read this book here at the Israel of God. We read, and then we read, and then we read till you understand what you have read. It's all that simple. All this big Bible, but you go to church every first day of the week, and we mean first day of the week, and you read two, three verses, and you come from church feeling all good. But you don't, you're not informed enough. You're not informed enough. St. John 14 and verses 1 through 3. Go ahead, Dan. Let, your, let not your heart be troubled. Yes. You believe in God, believe also in me. Go ahead. Now, Am this I is the Lord on the witness stand. I'm telling y'all, you believe in God, believe also in his son. Go ahead. In my father's house are many mansions. In my father's house are many mansions. Go ahead. If it were not so, I would have told you. Yes. I go to prepare a place for you. I go to prepare a faith for you. I go to prepare a place for you in my father's house. Read, Dan. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again uh -huh. and receive you unto myself. Uh -huh. That where I am, there ye may be also. So now, where's the Lord going to be? Why don't you do yourself a favor and go to Zechariah, the 14th chapter. He said that in that day his feet shall stand up on the Mount of Olives. He's coming back to this earth. He is not interested in standing up in heaven. And then after the thousand years, we can read Revelation. The Father going to come down after the thousand years. His desire is not to step in the third heaven. He going to come back down to this earth. That where I am, there shall you also be. So who told you you was going to heaven? The rapture is a concoction and of another spirit, another doctrine. Not of the Bible, sisters and brothers. Let's go to 2 Thessalonians. Back to 2 Thessalonians, the second chapter. Serving God is an attitude, sisters and brothers. If your attitude stinks, you're going to heaven's junkyard, which is the lake of fire. It's all this. I didn't write it. Don't get mad at me. Write a letter to God. See if he answers. Second Thessalonians 2, and pick it up at verse 3. Read it, Dan. Let no man deceive you Let by no any man means. deceive you. The spirit of deception is here. Go ahead. For that day shall not come, uh -huh. except there come a falling away first. And we are in that falling away. 
That is the falling away from the truth. Go ahead, Dan. And that man of sin be revealed. Go ahead. The son of perdition. Uh huh. Who uphold this and exalt to himself above all that is called God uh -huh. or that is worship. Yes. So that he as God sitteth in the temple of God, uh -huh. showing himself that he is God. So this is an apostate. This is an apostate church with an apostate preacher. He is anti or he is against God, sisters and brothers. That's why Jesus said, take heed that no man deceive you. The greatest name whereby men might be saved is the name of Jesus. The flip side of that is the greatest name that men might be saved is the name of Jesus. But remember what Paul said in 2 Corinthians, in one cup preaching another Jesus. The Jesus of, I got to say it, Sunday. The Jesus of Christmas, Jesus of the rapture, another spirit, spirit, another doctrine. And the book tell you, believe not every spirit. What we had, Dan? Did we finish that? Yeah, we skipped to seven. Skip down to verse 7 and continue. For the mystery of iniquity doeth already work. The thing's already been enforced, even in Paul's days. Go ahead. Only he who now letteth will let. And that is the Lord. Go ahead. Until he be taken out of the way. Go ahead. And then shall that wicked be revealed. Uh -huh. Whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth. Uh -huh. And shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. And that is the day of the Lord. Go ahead. Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders. See, this guy say he's going to be empowered by Satan the devil. Satan the devil is the one that's going to get his false priest, his power, rule, and authority, sisters and brothers. And if you're not careful, you're going to be caught right up in it. Continue, Dan. Where we at? Ten. Read it. And with all deceivableness uh -huh. of unrighteousness uh -huh. and them that perish. Yes. Because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved. This is the attitude of the wicked and the unrighteous. They don't hate God. They are in me or they have animosity toward God. So they cannot serve God because they are in the flesh. And if you live after the flesh, you shall die, sisters and brothers, according to the word of God. This is the attitude of the wicked. Did we finish that then? Yep, we finished 10. Okay, read verse 11. Go ahead. And for this cause, God shall send them strong delusion. Yes. That they should believe a lie. That they should believe a lie. So if you want to be caught up in this uh, delusion, God has set you for destruction. It's all that simple. Let's go to 1 Corinthians, the 15th chapter. Because the Lord is going, that's the reward of the wicked. What about the reward of the righteous? And what kind of body will they have? Let's go and 1 Corinthians, the 15th chapter, Dan. Let's move quickly. Quickly through this. 15 and 22. 22 and 23. Read it, brother. For as for as an Adam all die. Yes. Even so in Christ shall all be made alive. But when, Dan? Read it. But every man in his own order. Uh-huh. Christ the first fruit. Uh-huh. Afterward they that are Christ when? at his coming. At his coming. So how could somebody be up in heaven already if Christ ain't came? If the book said that Christ said is coming, how could your mother be up in heaven and uh, old wicked, rotten Ralph be in hell? And the Lord said, I come and my reward is with me to give to every man as his work shall be. Somebody done lied to you, sisters and brothers. And the book tell you the dead knows nothing. Finish it, Dan. Then cometh the end. Yes. When he shall have delivered up the kingdom to God. Yes. Even the Father, when he shall have put down all rule and all authority and power. Go down to verse 34 and continue, Dan. Go a ahead. Awake to righteousness. Awake to righteousness. And sin not. Go ahead. For some have not the knowledge of God. Uh-huh. I speak this to your shame. Paul said, if you go into church and you don't have the, your pastor is not teaching you the knowledge of God, Paul said, you are in a shame. I didn't write it. It's the word of God. You are in the shame. Continue, Dan. But some man will say, uh -huh. how are the dead raised up? Yeah. And with what body do they come? Right. That, Skip down to verse 44. 44 it, and 45 and read it. Go ahead. It is sown a natural body. A natural body. This flesh and blood body that we all born with, Dan. Go ahead. It is raised a spiritual it body. It is raised a spiritual body, sisters and brothers. Go ahead. There is a natural body uh -huh. and there is a spiritual body. Yes. And so it is written. The yes. first man, Adam, was made a living soul. Yes. The last Adam was made a quickening spirit. Skip down to verse 49. See, the book said that God is a spirit, and when we see him, we shall be like him. So we're going to be spirit beings. It's coming, sisters and brothers. Go ahead. And as we have borne the image of the earthy, yes. earthy, yes. we shall also bear the image of the heaven. Okay, go ahead. Now this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God. So ain't nobody up in heaven but God the Father and the Son and the angels. Go ahead, bro. Neither do of corruption inherit incorruption. Go ahead. Behold, I show you a mystery. What's the mystery, Dan? We shall not all sleep. We shall not all die. 
But we shall all be changed. When, Dan? In a moment. Uh huh. In a twinkling of an eye. Uh huh. At the last trumpet. So mama is in the grave. Great, 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 great grandmama's in the grave. Granddaddy's in the grave. Everybody's in the grave until a resurrection. Continue, bro. Quickly. For the trumpet shall sound. The tr that's trumpet number, number seven. Go ahead. And the dead shall be raised incorruptible. And what? And we shall be changed. And we shall be changed. Why, Dan? For this corruptible must put on incorruption. Did he say might or must? Must. Must put on incorruption, yes. And this mortal must put on immortality. Go ahead. So when the corruptible shall have put on incorruption, uh -huh. and this mortal shall have put on immortality, yes. then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, death is swallowed up in victory. Then I can righteously say, I am saved. When? At the Lord's return. At the Lord's return. Let's go to Acts the 14th chapter. We got one verse to read right there. Acts chapter 14. You see, sisters and brothers, it is all here. It's all here. You just have to be taught. Everything you know in your life, you read it out of, out of a book or somebody taught you. Why don't you learn through teaching how to save yourself and be born, yes, into the very spirit family of God. God is creating God. Acts 14 and 22. Acts 14, one verse, verse 22. Read it, Dan. Confirming the soul of the disciples. Yes. And exhorting them to continue in the faith. Yes. And that we must, through much tribulation, enter into the kingdom of God. No, no, no. We got to be raptured off to enter into the kingdom of God. No. You got to go through much tribulation to enter the kingdom. Anybody tell you that you want to serve God and you don't need to do no suffering? Don't believe it, sisters and brothers. Do not believe it. Revelation at last place. Revelation at 22nd chapter. Revelation 22. This is the last book. Revelation 22. And we're going to start reading verses 11 through 15. And we're going to close this out there. We're going to read the book to you. Revelation 22, verse 11. Read it, my brother. He that is unjust, let him be unjust still. Yes. And he which is filthy, let him be filthy still. Now, sister and brother, this is the last book of the Bible. Your last warning. Go ahead. And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. Yes. And he that is holy, let him be holy still. Yes. And behold, I come quickly and my reward is with me to give every man according as his work shall be. So when people going to get their rewards? At the Lord coming. Go ahead. I am Alpha and Omega. The yes. The beginning and the end, the yes. first and the last. Yes. Blessed are they that do his commandments, that they may have the right to the tree of life, uh -huh. and may enter in through the gates into the city. Wait a minute. They told us uh, the commandments are done away. They call us legalists. Oh, y'all commandment came. Y'all are legal. That means that if we're a uh, uh, legalist, could it be that you possibly could be an illegalist? What's wrong with the commandments? Finish it, Dan. For without are dogs and sorcerers and yes. whoremongers and murderers and idolaters. Yes. And, who has, and whosoever loveth and maketh the lie. So, sisters and brothers. The day of the Lord is coming. Make sure that you qualify yourself through the obedience of his law, statutes, and commandments and save yourself, sisters and brothers. The Lord is going to come and he's bringing his reward with him. You've been warned. Thank you for your time. We would like to invite you to join us on the Sabbath Day Live via the Internet. Log on to our website, which is www.theisraelofgod.com. Click on the link Sabbath Day Live on our homepage. You will need Windows Media Player to view our program. We stream live twice every Sabbath at 10 a.m. and 1.30 p.m. Central Time. Also, if you're in the Chicago area, please feel free to join us at our study class located at 2515 East 75th Street here in Chicago. Thank you.